How old was you? How old were you when you all went to RCA? When I first started to see that was in uh, '59. I was um, 25. 25. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Can you describe what you did in RCA? What What did I do? Yeah. Well, it, it was uh, in the engineering. Started out in the engineering department, and I was like the, the financial manager. And I took care of the finances for the engineers in that one particular department. Not all of Camden, but this was enough. It's called Central Engineering. And in, at the time I knew, there was about a thousand people in, in various parts of Central Engineering. The, the plan at that time was about 16,000 down there. Pretty big. I too used to just take care of all their uh, um, finances, you know, their travel expense and their uh, time tickets and just about anything financial. You know. And then eventually went into the relations with, you know, doing stuff for uh, you know, the clerical union and they had technicians and what have you, you know, just uh, up to the company side of things. You know, that's basically what I did initially. You know, okay? uh, what kind of wages or benefits did you earn in RCA? Well, I, <laughs> I started, uh, again, this was in 1959, I started at, uh, Eighty-five hours a week. Okay, that was what's that equate to? That little over thirty, less than thirty-five hundred dollars a year. Okay. That's, but I thought that was good because I was getting out of the army and I was only making three hundred dollars a month in the army. Mm -hmm. But uh, that's how we started. Mm -hmm. yeah. uh, what were your relationships with like the coworkers? Oh, well, I got along with them. Mm -hmm. All the time. We had a nice bunch of people. The RCA. The big thing about RCA in Canada is the family organ. In fact, the, 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 week, the monthly uh, magazine that they put out for a news that was going on was called the RCA Family. And um, it was a big family. And they were made up of you know, families of, of uh, the employees, and their, employee, their uh, uh, mothers and fathers like mine, and even my two sons worked for RCA too. My, my wife worked for one week. She didn't work for RCA, but she worked for uh, like a Kelly girl. She was a step secretary. And uh, so it turns out everybody in my family except my daughter worked on the plane at one time or another. Mm -hmm. um, what were your working conditions in RCA? The conditions? Oh, they were always good. I, 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 we, uh, uh, yeah, I, you know, we sort of got modern more quicker than a lot of other companies because we were in the electronics business and we were always like in the forefront so you had to keep up with what was going on in the business and the important thing to attract good engineers and good other employees you had to have nice conditions and we, we tried to do that so you could have set ahead right? we tried to yeah we never had too many complaints about any any of the working conditions we did because most of the stuff we had to do had to be clean anyway because you know the uh, um, you know how electronics are you're getting dirty it's, so it, therefore the the uh, working uh, area the uh, assembly lines and all was all nice and neat and clean mm -hmm. yeah. so that's uh, I would say we had of all the plants in this area I would say uh, RCA Camden was probably had the best conditions. We had a good restaurant. We had probably the biggest restaurant in Camden. We, we served the whole plant. And uh, we had a uh, cafeteria. But, and then they also had a waiter service thing, like a regular restaurant. And it was good food. We enjoyed it very much so. Um, can you describe like the um, average work days? How long was it? Like, what was your average work day? Like, how long you worked there? Eight hours a day. Or our, our departments were in a 40 hour week. Okay. Eight hour week. Yeah, eight hours of five days. You know. And then when you work over, of course, you take overtime. And we go beyond eight hours in any given day. Uh, you would, I, I never got paid overtime because I was always on the management. Managers didn't get paid overtime. But all our uh, representative people, people are represented by unions. And, they always got paid overtime for anything more than eight hours a day or 40 hours a week. And sometimes you go double time. You know, like on Sundays and holidays, you get double time. They paid well. You know, they attracted good people that way. You know, I thought it was really good. And how much did they earn? 
Well, uh, like I said, I started out in, 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 uh, 85 hours a week, and each year you would be uh, reviewed. And if you did well, you would get an increase. And, um, and it was all based on merit. It was, you know, what, what you did. It wasn't just, you know, getting paid for just being there, for instance, okay? But uh, you kept forgetting, each year you would get a little bit more and what have you. So that, uh, to be honest with you, when I wound, I started out at like $3,000 a year. And after uh, 30 some years, I wound up, I was, I was making about 58000 a year. Good good wages, I thought. For, for me, now the engineers were making more money, but I was in, uh, I, I was not an engineer as a business or, uh, major, and they always made a little bit less. But we, we got paid well. Mm -hmm. uh, were there like a variety of antique groups, like when you worked, like were there a variety of different types of groups that was the RCA? Different kinds of uh, like workers. Different people, you mean? Yeah. Oh, you mean like uh, uh, black people, white the people? Oh yeah, the race. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. And now initially it was, I had to, it, when I first started, there weren't a lot of uh, non non Caucasians. Uh, and the reason for that was the um, we were engineering departments, and you know, they, you know they, they didn't open up that kind of stuff for for the uh, minorities, and we were in that transition period. But as each year went by, more and more minorities and women came into uh, into the plant, you know, yeah. So, but initially, where there were not a lot. You know, you know. But by the time I left in 19, uh, was it 93? I retired. It was just like total integration. You know. There was never, was never any. Uh, uh, what would you say? Um, not, not, I was going to use the word animosity, but not that. Never, no prejudice. Yeah. I never. Prejudice. Did, I never. <laughs> Witnessed any prejudice down there. It was great. Yeah. Um, what was one of your most memorable experiences working at RCA? Well, you know, that was uh, when the, the letter that I got. I was trying to think of one particular thing, and not, nothing really comes to mind, but I, personally, there was one thing. In Camden, uh, my, as I told you, my mother and dad started it back when it was the Victor Talking Machine Company. And my dad was a uh, chauffeur and a mechanic, and he used to um, show for all the big shots, all the vice presidents and everything. And in Camden, we have the, what they call the general office building. It was number two. It's what, today, it's the uh, Camden City Board of Education building. And on the seventh floor, there was what they call the executive row. row. That's where all the vice presidents were. Well, my dad used to talk about, because he would go up and get the, uh, pick up the, uh, the uh, Vice presidents and take them wherever they wanted to go. But one of the one time after I finally wound up on uh, uh, working for the, uh, the plant manager, they gave me an office on seventh floor, a window window uh, corner uh, office, and all like you read you know you hear it in, in TV and everything. That was the biggest, I think, the most memorable thing that I did, that I got that. And when I told my dad that I got it, he broke back, that broke down crying, saying, you know, his son got on rug, rug, rug. I didn't make a lot of money, but uh, I haven't had a good office. I would think that was the most memorable thing for me, you know? Yeah. Um, can you describe, uh, what kind of changes were made over the years uh, work at RCA? What did we build? Yeah. Oh my gosh. Everything in uh, electronics, everything from, from TVs and radios to, uh, um, the uh, Apollo program, the moon program, the moon shot. Uh, we, we built uh, cameras for the, uh, the astronauts. We built stuff for the Army, Navy, Marines, Coast Guard, everything. It was all kinds of, an awful lot of uh, secret stuff. Stuff that today I don't even know what it was. They were built in, in uh, secret areas that you couldn't get into and what have you. Had to do with electronics, we knew. You know, but it wasn't, most of the time it was like classified radios and TVs, you know, stuff where they scramble it so nobody can intercept it and what have you. But we built everything. And the, the place that I first started out was called Central Engineering. And we supported everybody in the plant. So that we, we got involved in just about every uh, product that was being built. 
they would they would come to us for advice on what parts to use, what materials, uh, so forth. We had these experts, like consultants, if you will. So we we got to see just about everything that went on in the plant, and, and it was very anything electronics we were involved. And we're like seven electronics did y'all make the most? What we make the most? Yeah. Well, when we first started um, down there, um, of course, before my time, they were making uh, radios and TVs. And that was all commercial stuff. And then uh, by the time I got there, they were switching over to almost exclusively military support, meaning uh, movie, uh, uh, man pack radios, uh, airborne. Uh, transmitters for, for planes and what have you. Uh, all, all the military uh, electronics we were involved in. Mm -hmm. um, 